lot of people All these people coming in from BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, uh, Oregon, Washington. People making the trip out, Make, taking, the, taking the travel, stacking up those air miles points. <laughs> We'll see how these two shake up. It should be really tough, in my opinion, from you two. I don't think he's going to be able to combo him or chase him around. And taking grenade trades against Snake as Mew2, like, taking grenade trades against Snake is garbage to begin with. But as Mew2? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it just what gets a that a little bit worse. But anyways, one thing that happened immediately that I just want to point out mm. that might be just absolutely crucial this matchup. So uh, D went for the down tilt neutral, you know, simple Mewtwo stuff. Yep. But... Falconorf is actually able to just grenade Spoiler out. Grenade. Frame and one. I'm like, is that is that like not true at all? Is he just never going to be able to down to neutral air? Is I, all of Mewtwo's combo game just gone? I want to say it's a frame thing. I want to say it's because it's a frame one Ooh, move. There it is. Yeah, getting hit with that up smash. It's just so hard because yeah. dying in on uh, Snake's up smash in this game. It's just it's just certain death. Mm. It makes that move kill like 30% earlier. <laughs> and on Mewtwo. That's 30 percent's a, a good yeah. distance, <laughs> especially he's dying so sim so so soon. Anyways, exactly. Oh, oh up smash the shield, so risky of an option, and an easy punish from Falcondorf. He's doing a lot of good stuff right now. D is just stuck to the outside. This is uh, not one of our closer Ooh. losers. No escapes here for 64. And I mean, part of that you can already like just attribute it to just being such a terrible matchup, especially just on paper. Yeah, you no, know, on like paper. Oh God, if this game was played <laughs> on paper. Jeez, not gonna go well. Then you know, like I only bring that up because how much have we seen of Mewtwo, really? But right, yeah, no, we saw grades for a little bit, but for a little bit. But I think like against Snake, I don't really think he's gonna be pulling out the Mewtwo anytime soon. Mm. But he's Snap still alive. Again. He's putting him off stage. Backer was definitely gonna do it. Yeah, there we go. Being able to able to even it up back in stocks, but in percentage. So disgustingly You're at such a scary position. Nikita just be what, I yeah. Okay, that entire sequence <laughs> just cracked out for me. I don't know about you. I'm just like, yep, that's Nick. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Up throw, up Little tilt. Jab. Lots of damage. Oh, he's crouched under that. Weird. Snake got it. That super low profile. I like that. C4 that is a there. hell of a call out. But it's just a little early to it. We're seeing a lot of people too early, probably because they're used <gasps> to the whoa oh, a downer. There we go. Find your way back in, yeah. however it uh, presents itself. Well, that's like kind of one thing, you know, a lot of Mewtwo's aerial uh, maybe saved for neutral air. Uh, it does more than 7%, so you can break Cypher there pretty easily off stage. Right, right. Oh, no, now it's actually uh, a little bit closer. Yeah, it's a lot closer now. Is that, we, we, you're seeing the boys are just kind of playing yeah. catch. He's going back a little bit more, using more Shadow Ball, but right now when you're at the oh, no. ledge. Wow, Ooh, wow, great timing. what timing, yeah. And here we go, Falconorf going high like every snake. What else are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. Just the snake. Classic oh! goes in for another downer, and D steals this game. After a game that was so brutally in favor of Falcondorf, two spikes is all it takes for D to, well, hand him just that. I think it was a three-star comeback, if not very close. You might be right. I think you're right. And even if it isn't, I'm going to say it was because it sounds cooler. Exactly. And and what are we seeing a lot of people in these uh, in these sets here, doing maybe being a little too early to their like uh, their uh, roll reads and their tech chases, and sure. that's probably because they're not used to the one millisecond Ooh. response time of our <laughs> big huge yeah. alley monitors. They're t the the computers are just too good. They're playing on their laggy monitors, unlike our Zowie monitors, which have our one millisecond response time. It's too good. And we're back to back a game of game catch. Two, yeah. <laughs> and we're, we're back again to Shadow Ball versus Grenade, the matchup. Mm. But right as I say that, D going in, find the first percent, and this is going to be a big Ooh. punish, yeah. Okay. Just a little toss off, but it's what you get after you've thrown Snake off, and now he's now he's got to land. Like, all right, it's do very, it. It's very interesting to see. Uh, you know, a lot of characters, it's pretty 50-50 on which characters can grab Snake on, like, a fall, like, when Snake falls down with neutral air. Sure. And now that seeing that Mewtwo can is very important in the matchup, because now you can't just get mixed up. Right. So you just go right for the obvious option. That grenade. Got the C4 on the platform. And another one. But he blows himself up with the grenade. And at 114, now you're at kill percent. To a uh, lot of stuff. To quite a bit, yeah. You got forward air. Uh, all your smash attacks, yeah. especially down smash now. Yeah. Yeah, that move really just really seals. I love the use of Shadow Ball. And both the grenades hitting Snake. It's quite a bit of damage here. 
Oh, there it is, yeah. Snake, classic spot dodge into any of your tilt attacks, really. Benefits so much from spot dodge canceling in this game. There it is, once again, spot dodge up tilt. Try to throw to grab. This has Too been late. A, yeah, this has been a weird one to watch. It was really rough for Falkendorf to begin things, and then now he's... Yeah, the exact opposite yeah. of, uh, of last game. Up smash gets broken grenade. by the grenade. He had it in hand already. He didn't even need to pull it. But that Florida does seal it. Those multi-hits in this game can be really, really deadly. Uh, when they like, try to pull him out against Snake, who has a grenade in hand, you're just like, oh, come on, I had that. Yeah. I thought I was doing damage. Exactly. Oh, Shadow That's Ball right awkward. in the grenade, yeah. Ooh, I'm surprised. Like, you know, it'll, like, you have to be aware of that grenade timer against Snake. Especially when you like throw him with one, you can easily get a conversion off throws, which usually don't have any. Right. Right, because it stops you up at yeah, low percents. It, it just pops you up instead of like carrying you with your momentum. Ooh. So like, you know, maybe... Oh, oh. Hit the weakest hit. There wasn't even a sound effect for that back air. <laughs> Nintendo didn't think anyone <laughs> would use that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, like maybe Hold a grenade. Yeah, using using Roy as an example, because you know that's a character I play. Like you can sure. do like uh, Roy forward throw, and if you time it right, uh, you'll blow up the grenade while a snake's still holding it, and you can convert into like a neutral air and up air. It's very important in this matchup to use the grenades against Snake whenever you have the opportunity. And that's uh, Nikita is still going somewhere. I don't know where it went. There it is. Oh. <laughs> I was looking for it. Oh, there it is. Falkendorf needs to play really yeah. well right now. Hit the uh, hit the uh, forward air a little too high. Gets the up tilted forest troubles, and that's gonna be the stock. <gasps> one eighteen though, full charge. Shadow there it is again. Another downer. I was gonna say, watch the out for third the one this set. Some people are very happy about that. And D making it out, and we'll be seeing him tomorrow. Falkendorf unfortunately falling at sixty fifth place.